Welcome to Rocky Mountain Wild. I'm Courtney. I'm one of the keepers here um, at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And we are going to talk about one of my favorite animals at the zoo today, the mountain lions. They are enjoying one of their spaces here at the zoo. This is um, the exhibit that's closest to our little moose atka. And all three of them have actually come over to say hi to us this morning. Sitka is the absolute biggest mountain lion that I've ever known. He's about 150 pounds. And he has a really, really round face. Adira looks pretty similar to Sitka. She's his sister, so that makes a lot of sense. She's got very defined cheekbones though. She's about 30 pounds smaller. And then little Coda, he's not actually related to the other two mountain lions. He has a bright pink nose. So that might change a little bit as he gets older, but right now that's the best way to tell him apart. Plus he's still the smallest. He's just about a year and a half. So he's still technically a kitten, still growing. If you have not met a mountain lions before, they actually all three came to us from Washington state and they were all orphan mountain lions. So, so Sitka and Adira, they both um, were found together. Their mom was actually um, part of a human wildlife conflict, so they ended up um, coming here after that. And then they were lucky enough to grow up with our old lady mountain lion, Kaya, who's no longer with us, and she taught them all the best ways to be a mountain lion. So they were super lucky in that regard to get to know Kaya. And then young Koda, who's just sitting up here on the rock, doing a little bit of grooming and licking his chops there. He came from Washington about a year later after the other two did. And we don't really know his full backstory. He was found walking alone on a logging road out his mom without his siblings. And he was definitely way too young to be by himself. So this guy ended up going to Oregon Zoo and then coming to us afterwards. And he got to learn how to be a mountain lion from Sitka and Adira. So we actually um, set up some enrichment for the mountain lions today, and we're gonna go ahead and give them access to that. All right, cats, you ready to go get your pumpkins? Little Coda over there, he's really excited about this spinning pumpkin. He loves when he, we call it his little fidget spinner. He loves any time that he can spin things around and use his claws on them and just shred them into teeny tiny little pieces. Looks like Sitka has finally spotted the toy that I thought he'd be really excited about. Let's see if he is excited or not. He usually really loves hanging things and he loves to play tug of war. And then Adira is a little bit more cautious so she typically will wait until the boys are out of the way and then she'll come over. She likes to kind of grab a toy and run away so she'll probably see if she can grab one of the pumpkins and run off to her heated cave with it. We've hiked a little bit further and we're now up back behind the mountain lion exhibit, looking down over Rocky Mountain Highlands. So Coda's coming up to say hi. Sitka still thinks I have food, so he's off trying a couple of different behaviors to see if maybe something will get him another snack. But he just ate about three pounds of trout, so that's actually pretty much his entire diet for the day today. So. You're done. You're, you should be full now. All right, well, I'm gonna sit here for a little while longer and maybe I'll see them play with the pumpkins. Maybe I'll have to give up and go do some other things with my day. But thank you guys all for coming on my little hike around the mountain lion exhibit and meeting Sitka, Coda, and Adira. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.